Are you new to triathlon? If so, you might well be struggling to know where to start when it comes to putting three very different sports together. Well, I've recently had a few friends who've done their first event and they've had so many questions and understandably so. So I thought I'd put together some tips and pieces of info that will help you prepare for your first event. It goes without saying, you are going to need to do some training ahead of your first triathlon. Now, it obviously depends on what background you're coming from, but say you've got no experience of the three sports, well, I would seriously recommend that you head along to a club or at least speak to a coach to get some advice and guidance for that. And we've also made a series of videos on how to train for your first triathlon, so check those out. Now, before you get too carried away and start worrying about putting all three sports together, you need to focus on each one individually and make sure that you're happy and confident to complete the distance or hopefully a little bit more than what's going to be in your event. So let's say you've entered a sprint triathlon, which is a great distance to start with. Well, for that, you're going to need to be very comfortable swimming 750 meters. You need to be able to cycle at least 20 kilometers and run at least 5K. Once you've got to grips with each sport and you're confident at covering that distance, it's time to look at putting them all together before race day. Now the swim to bike isn't really too concerning because the swim predominantly uses your arms, whereas the bike is predominantly your legs. But when it comes to the bike to run, well, that's a different matter. As the bike and run rely on your legs, it really is a good idea to practice doing a bike ride and then going straight out onto a run after. You're going to experience that jelly leg feeling and it's always better to have this the first time in training, so at least you're going to know what to expect when it comes to race day. And with a few practices in your legs, you'll get more used to it as well. And these types of sessions are known as brick sessions, in case you've never heard of that term and you had no idea what people were on about. If the swim is something you really struggle with, don't worry, you're not alone. It's the most common challenge for triathletes. And as a result of that, there's actually an event that's a super sprint, which involves just a 400 meter swim, but the bike and run are still the same distances as the sprint that we already mentioned. Now, sticking with swimming and talking about training, you also need to make sure you prepare for the type of swim that you've got coming up. There are plenty of pool-based triathlons available for beginners, but if you have opted to do your first triathlon in an open water event, then please, please make sure you go and practice in similar conditions because it is very different. Swimming in a wetsuit is different in itself and there's a lot to think about when it comes to open water. So if you do want some more advice on that, then check out some of our GTM videos, which we'll share with you in the description below. Yes, you do need a fair amount of kit to train and race in triathlon, but that doesn't mean you need to head straight out and buy everything to do with swimming, cycling and running. Admittedly, you are going to have to invest in a few key pieces, but most of those will hopefully be able to double up for training and race day. Now, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail here because that's a video in itself, but if you think logically, so for the swimming, you're going to need a swimsuit, hat and goggles, and then when it comes to the run, you'll certainly need a pair of trainers and at least some running kit. Well, as for the cycle, you can do quite a bit of training indoors on a gym bike, but ideally you will need to head out onto the road at some point. And all you need then is a functioning and safe bike with brakes and preferably some gears. If you've got something basic at home, you can use that to train on. And if you get the triathlon bug, then you can always upgrade after your first event or maybe even borrow a bike for race day. Safety is important, so it's definitely worth getting your own helmet. You don't need to get anything fancy here, just make sure that it meets those safety requirements. And then there's some other expensive pieces of kit which you don't necessarily need to start with, such as bike shoes, tri suit, and wetsuit. There's nothing wrong in doing your first event in your trainers. You can then get changed after each discipline, so you won't need a tri suit. And you can usually manage to borrow a wetsuit if you want to. But I would say that maybe buying a cheap tri suit or finding one you could borrow would be a really great help for your first race, as it's one less thing to worry about because you don't need to get changed between each discipline. There are a few other pieces that are just small investments but can make a significant difference to your race day. So a race belt for example, you attach your race number to that and then you can wear it on your back for the bike and you simply spin it round to the front when it comes to the run. It saves you having to pin it onto a different top or getting changed afterwards. And also elastic laces are a great invention. They simply make it that much easier to get your feet into your shoes when they're a little bit wet and clammy. Well, that leaves
leaves us with race day and obviously you need to choose the event that you're going to enter and I would suggest that you consider location go for something that's closer to home as you're more likely to be familiar with the surroundings which should automatically make you feel that much more relaxed as well as maybe you can convince your friends and family to come along support if that's something that you want and obviously it's going to be cheaper as you shouldn't need accommodation costs and travel to get there should be less and then you need to think about whether you want to do an open water or a pool based swim which we've already talked about and on top of that you need to consider distance but I would recommend starting with a shorter distance triathlon because you can always build up as you get more confident. Now you do need to have a grasp of the basic rules at least and the more you know then the more you can then relax and actually focus purely on your performance. So there's things such as the helmet rule. You must have your helmet done up and on securely before you take your bike out of the racking and at the other end of the bike leg you must make sure your back bike is back securely in its position before you take your helmet off. Then there's the mount and dismount line so you need to know where you can get on and off your bike. Also that distance between you and the rider in front. So there's quite a lot to consider there. It's also a really good idea to be familiar with the route so you don't need to worry about where you're going and the start times are obviously important and on that note do try and get there with plenty of time so you can set up and hopefully even have a little bit of time to relax. Stick with what you do know on race day and please don't go trying anything new. You might hear other athletes talking about tactics or maybe you see some of the guys in the earlier waves doing flying mounts onto their bike. Well, I would save these for practicing at home and right now just concentrate on your own performance and hopefully you can then enjoy it as you've always got plenty of time to go back and hone those skills and hopefully you'll be back to do another race soon. I've already mentioned a few of our GTM videos that could be helpful, but we've got loads of tips for beginners. So do go and check out our GTN archive. And if you've still got a question that hasn't been answered, well, do let me know in the comments section below and we'll do our best to get back to you. But if you want to make sure that you get all of our videos here at GTN in the future, just click on the globe on screen to subscribe and give us a thumbs up like if you've enjoyed this. And I talked about those videos of how to train if you are new to triathlon. Well, we've got a playlist for you and that's just down here.